Hey everybody, it's uh, Chris over at Dixie Light Farms and uh, I'm going to show you our red barn here, red barn, and the lights that we have got installed now. So up there and down there. And the reason why I'm showing you this is originally we had fluorescent lights in here and you can see there are a few holes in this barn. It's an old barn and what was happening was water was finding its way onto those fluorescent lights and the fluorescent lights were arcing. Not good. So we've replaced the lights in here with uh, floodlights that are sealed. So no matter what, they are safe and they're up high and not where leaks were anyway. Uh, but even if they were, they're sealed with gaskets and stuff like that. So we have done new lighting in the red barn and uh, I should say one of the barn dads pretty much installed all of those except for one that I did a while ago. Uh, which was very nice of him, um, and I, uh, I still can feel it when I'm on a ladder, uh, even after a year and almost a half here after knee replacement. So being on the ladder for long periods of time still causes a little bit of an issue. In the main barn, one side of the uh, lights have gone out, and I'm going to show you the lights that we're replacing right now and the progress. And this is the kind of stuff we have to do on the farm all the time, and I know some of you like seeing all the different things that we get up to when we're on the farm. So I figure I might as well document this real quick. So uh, these are the lights. They're eight foot uh, high output and they don't even make, I think, the bulbs for that anymore. Uh, a lot of fluorescent bulbs are just not manufactured anymore and the ballasts have been slowly going over time. So we still have one side of the barn, but we're replacing them with LED shop lights. So you can see up here, I've already placed four of them and we've got more to go. And Marissa is holding the ladder and helping me out. So the next light I'm doing is this one. And I'm talking to all of our YouTube friends. Hello. So uh, a big difference now that you're able to kind of see in the stall. The light. In the summer it wasn't a big deal because this entire wall back here lifts up and light would stream in from the outside. But uh, over time, you know, one ballast would go and then another ballast would go, so um, we're replacing them. And we've had to do this for years, but uh, it, it was expensive. It's expensive to replace all the lights, especially all at once. So we finally fixed all the lights outside, and so the outdoor arena is good, and now the red barn's been fixed, and now we're doing it here in stages. So this one side of the barn is getting done, and this is the worst side. And then uh, the other side, we have some light electrical work to do. We have to basically convert them into outlets and then we can plug in the lights and do that. So that'll be over the next few months here. But uh, we're hoping this weekend, which is Thanksgiving weekend, I don't know what time you're seeing this, to finish in here. But already, even if we stopped here, major difference. Because, I mean, it was no light at all. So, um, yeah, Marissa and I are going to take down the one light and then put up two LED lights and power savings. I don't know uh, what the difference is. I know the LED lights are 40 watts each. So 80 watts, uh, you know, for one s replacement and those fluorescent bulbs have to be more than 80 watts combined. So let's get to it. Okay. So here are the lights and uh, you can see if we power it on, boom, look at that. And it comes with the chain and the S hooks. So, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting the S hooks and the chain on the lights and one will daisy chain into the other. So you plug one light into the other light. And this side of the barn's already got outlets that work on an on off switch. So it's just no big deal at all. And the price of LED lights have come down so much. So these LED lights are the same price as a ballast would cost me. And of course the bulbs are like impossible to find. And if you can't find them, they're very expensive. So, uh, it was no choice, you know, to switch to the LEDs. I'm sure I could probably get it like an energy credit or something like that, but it's, it's too much work to even look into that. So we're just doing it. And uh, yeah, there we go. We are all chained up on the lights and we are ready to rock it. So let's get that thing installed, huh? Right there. Boom. Boom. <laughs> You look 
very angelic. This is what a stall looks like before we put a light up. And here's what the stall looks like after. Of course, you've got a shadow from the top beam here, but we can actually see poop. We have poop, Marissa. Now we just got to install the second light. Oh, oh we got the J.J. Abrams. So we've got a few more to go. We're going to be doing that one. You can see now we've got quite a strip of lights here. Much nicer. And we're cleaning stalls, so we got to get back to it. So there we go, everybody. A little sneak into what we do all the time here at the farm. Always trying to make things better. So, from Dixie Light Farms, take care, buddy.